Hello, hello guys. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, the video I thought was playing and it turns out it wasn't working. So you guys just saw a black screen, but um, I was watching it. <laughs> not even realizing. Um, so tonight I'm a little bit earlier, but I want to get this project done. Um, I'm so excited that This Is Us comes back tonight. So I don't know if you guys watch that or not, but I have to cook dinner and then I want to watch the show. So <sighs> tonight we're going to do um, one of the transfers I've been wanting to do since the holiday suite was released. It's the Cold Hands Warm Heart. Isn't this amazing? So we are going to do this. Let me show you my workstation here. So I wanna do this transfer and I wanna do this transfer in so many different ways, but tonight we are going to do it one way and I'm sure we'll be doing it again. Um, I have chosen to use one of our old style box frames um, and I'm gonna put it right inside this box frame. Um, you know, our box frames have since changed to where they um, have improved them and they have some great, um, great double-sided surface. Um, so this one um, is the older one. And I am gonna wax it first. This is just some surface wax. Um, anytime that you chalk on wood, um, you wanna wax it because it protects your transfer from the bits of wood. And it also fills in all of those little grain so that your paste does not run um, in the grain. So I'm very simple. I just use paper towel. I'm gonna take some from the jar and just wipe it on here, okay? And you can kind of feel just going to wipe it here just to fill in these little nooks and crannies. Do do do. There we go, and rub that in. This side here it looks like it has more of the greeny bits that I'm talking about. So, I posted a link for, hey Vanessa, for a um, little small business shopping you can do online from the comfort of your own house and you don't have to go out this year. Um, I will be presenting Chalk Couture I think my day is November the 14th. Yeah, but there's a lot of other days that um, there'll be little things here or there. But if you wanted to check it out, I posted the group in here so you guys can see. All right, so I'm just going to go like this and get all of this. Okay, now this one still is double-sided just like the new ones. It's just not as pretty. have like wax buildup right here that I'm trying to rub off. There we go. All right. Okay. So if you need any wax, let me know. I think I have two other tins ready to ship if you need some wax. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open my transfer. This is a B size transfer. So it retails for $14.99. It's gonna go right in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to check the fuzz factor. So each transfer, when you get them, you're gonna wanna feel how sticky they are. Um, this one is pretty sticky. I think this one's gonna have, since it's brand new, at least a fuzz factor of three or four. Let's see, one, two, Three, and I think I have one, only one fuzzing cloth left in my stash here, if you need a fuzzing cloth. Okay, there we go. Let me just get one thing there. So I'm trying to think right now of what color I want. But Oh, 
All right. So now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it inside my box frame where I want it. Hold on one second. Ezra? Ezra? Is the refrigerator open? <laughs> my refrigerator beeps when it's open. And and I can hear it beeping. All right, so now we need to pick some fun colors for this one. I know that I want some wintry blue mittens, okay? And hmm, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna grab some pesto for, for this part. Is that so I wonder what color we should do for the top. Hey, Debbie, I'm having some color issues here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe a darker blue. Um, I can't decide what color I want. I can't decide, is this supposed to be a live or not? Should it be a brown or should it be a green? Like, what is this? I don't even know what, what this is. But then the string that goes around runs right into it. So we could either use a little bit of placement tape or just chalk that the same color. You know what, I think just to avoid all of that, maybe we'll just bring in like a shimmer gold or a shimmer copper. Should we do shimmer gold? All right, so I think I'm going to just use black velvet for my words. I want it to really stand out. I was thinking about doing it different, but now I'm really, I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but obviously, obviously I did not. Help me out, Debbie and Vanessa. Um, okay, so I definitely want blue mittens. I thought I was gonna do, I, I wanted it to be um, not too colorful. So, not too colorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of distilled water to my black velvet. Okay, let's see here. So I do just want to do this black velvet up here. I'm going to put it on my transfer. I got a big chunk there. And then I'm going to take one of my small squeegees. I did mine in green and the limb and string in brown. Which one in green? The words? Two. Did you post yours in the VIP group, Debbie? I don't remember if you did or not. Okay, I'm going to get this off of here. Just like this. And then I'm gonna do the paste and peel since I'm a little indecisive. I'm making sure my fingers are clean. And then we're just gonna pull this up. Look at that. Cold hands, warm heart. Super cute. I'm going to put that back down and then I'm going to I know I want these mittens to be in this morning sky. Either Morning Sky or Lakeshore would be pretty too. Actually, I should use Lakeshore since that is our current color. It is like still a wintry blue. And then maybe I'll just grab, I don't want bark. Should we do, I don't want to add shimmer, but I keep, <laughs> I keep pulling. My hands keep going to shimmer olive. 
I think I'm gonna do pesto. But I think, let's see. Go take a shower, please. Where? Right now. Can I show you how to use video? Ezra wants to say hi. No, I didn't do the sprigs in green, the limbs and. That doesn't make any sense. No, I didn't, but do, no, I didn't, but do the sprigs in green, the limbs and string in brown. Cellula Bell. Taco Bell. No, Taco Bell. Cellula Bell. Taco Bell. Cellula Bell. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> he already left. The limbs and string in brown. Um, what do you think, Vanessa? Oh gosh, I really thought, I really thought I had a plan until I was right in front of it. Mm. Sprigs and green. Okay, I'm gonna take the pesto. I kinda want this in green over here, so I'm just gonna go like this. I think pesto is that perfect wintry green it's not bright i'm just gonna go like this this and i'm gonna bring this all the way to where that limb and string are all the way to there and then I'm gonna get off any extra. I should have used a bigger squeegee. Um, there's not a shimmer blue, Vanessa. That would be a good one for them to do soon, right? That'd be perfect for Hanukkah and um, 4th of July. So I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna come and do these, like this one. And this one. I'm trying to be careful not to get it on those mittens. Like there. And then here. Just for those spots there. So this is pesto. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my, this is much darker than I wanted. I, I I didn't expect it to go. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't look too dark. There we go. That's really pretty, right? Oh, I love it so far. Okay. Um, now I'm wishing I would have done the words in my cadet, kind of. But we'll go ahead and take the camel. Camel looks like it's a good consistency. We'll do the strings and the little limbs here in this color. Thanks, Vanessa. So I'm just grabbing some of this to come through here. And then we'll just bring the string here. I have seen this um, transfer so many different ways and each way it is super cute. You could do it all in one color um, and it's super cute on a chalkboard, but we're doing a little bit different colors. I'm just getting off the excess. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, that looks so good with the pesto, doesn't it? All right, now I'm going to make sure I have my mittens down. And then I'm going to take my wintry blue. Go 
are right here. I'm gonna have to make this again, but I think if I made it again, which is perfect because the transfer is reusable again and again, I would do the words in another blue instead of the black velvet. I think I've, I've lost the winter doing that, but in my mind, it was gonna look a little different. That's okay, I still like it. And then I'm going to get this mitten all the way across, just like this. And like this. All right, and then, oh, is it Debbie? I'm gonna go ahead and pull the transfer off and then stick this on the backer sheet and then we're gonna dry it. So this is really cute. This is really cute, isn't that? You're gonna want to um, stay tuned to my VIP group after this video because I'm actually gonna have this transfer available in a bundle, but I also got these little wood cutouts. Look how cute these are. And I went ahead and painted them blue and I thought we could glue them on here just to give a little 3D effect but I'm gonna have to wash my transfer real quick because I'm gonna put um, this pattern on the mittens. Now, I do have one more, hey Mary, I do have one more set of mittens. So if you are getting, taking my fuzzing cloth and I'm gonna dry it on here. If, if you are getting one of the transfers from my VIP group, you have the option of adding on a set of mittens. I have one set left. And then I'm just gonna fold it half. Now I have the transfer on that um, microfiber side, the really, really soft side, so it's not the fuzzing side, just to help me dry these off. Really great at drying the transfer. How are you doing, Mary? We were almost done. I'm a little earlier tonight because I need to finish dinner um, and then have a glass of wine ready for This Is Us. I'm so excited that it's back tonight. <laughs> All right. So I just wanna make sure, I'm gonna take it to the fuzzing side now because I do wanna fuzz it again. Make sure that it's dry. Just make sure not to stretch it. All right. So now this is when I'm going to go ahead and take out that cadet. I think the cadet would look really good over that. And I think it'll help with the coloring. I just need to add a little bit of distilled water to my paste. Hi, Patty. 
because um, the paste is a little thicker than I like. So I'm adding distilled water. Remember, Chocotour does recommend distilled water, not tap water, because our paste is organic and the minerals in the tap can have some weird reactions sometimes. So I am just, my um, cadet is very fluffy. <laughs> It's very airy. Yes, it will, Debbie said. I've heard of people um, with mold. I've had some mold in the beginning um, and some have had like weird foaming on there. All right, I think we're okay. It's a little fluffy, but it's okay. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out my light box so that I can do this well. Let me plug it in. Now you definitely do not need to have a light box. I am just challenged when it comes to layering things. So I'm going to get my mittens and I'm just going to layer this right on here. Now, if I had gone with lighter, like Christmassy colors, I probably would have picked bright white, but because our board has a very warm tone to it, not a cool tone, I'm gonna put the cadet on top. I think I'm gonna love that. So I'm just making sure I have no air bubbles. Bubble is trouble. And then I'm gonna grab some cadet and one of my minis. And I'm just gonna go over, over the mitt. See, this paste is very fluffy, but it's going on very nice. I'm hoping, I, I just realized I did not wax these after I painted them with my um, surface wax. So hopefully none of that paint comes off. All right, so here's our first mitt. Ready? I'm just gonna peel it up. Ta-da! We have our first mitt. Isn't that cute? Now I have a feeling I didn't do a great job at drying it because I saw those lines are a little fuzzy, um, but nothing um, that ruins the project. It's just, you can tell. And then I'm gonna line up this one. Line up this one. And then put some more cadet on here. Thanks, Christine. And then I'm going to Come here, come here, paste. Just go like this. It's just amazing how you can change your projects um, just by the colors that you use with warm tones and cool tones, shimmers. It's all, it all gives such a different look. All right. Now we'll get, come here, Mitten. There we go. Perfect. All right, now I'm just gonna take this and put it, put it on here. I'm gonna move this. And then let's bring our board. Um, I got it from Amazon, Debbie. <laughs> there are so many. I pretty much picked the cheapest one that had good reviews. Um, that's what I did. <laughs> All right, so now we have our mittens. I'm just gonna dry them a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit 
of glue on the back. This just kind of pops them out a little bit, gives us a really nice 3D look. So I'll put one there. It is even super cute if you want to use real string, like if you didn't chalk that and you use like real string as the string. I've seen some people put little pom-poms on here, which is really cute. And then we'll just put that one like that. So I'm making different pieces so that I can have my own little winter wonderland ready um, once all this fall stuff comes down. I already have a bunch of plans for what it's going to be. I'm just going to here. I'm just closing up my pace so then I can hold this up for you guys. I used more colors than I thought. All right, you ready? Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and show this to you. Oh, it's so stinking cute. And it's nice and 3D. Look how cute this is. This is really how, like how my decor usually looks. Um, kind of, um, what's warm? My house is very warm. I have a lot of browns. Look at that cold hands, warm heart. It is so gorgeous, isn't it? Look at those cute mittens. Thanks, Debbie. This would be really cute on a shelf. Oh gosh, I don't know. This might have to be a present. What do you think, Ezzy? I saw it, it's really cool. It's really cool? Okay, so this is our project for tonight. This is our project for tonight and you wanna come to the VIP group. I have three more of these transfers that'll be available. Oh, really? I better go shop now at whatever your website is. <laughs> um, I just got blue paste all over the back of it. But here we go. Cold hands, warm heart. I think this is super cute. Thanks, Patty. So, and also, um, I have three transfers. And I have one set of mittens. So if you wanted to pin your own mittens and add it to your project, it would be really cute if you were using the Aiden board that's magnetic. Um, if you wanted to turn these into magnets, I even have little magnets that you can put on the back. I have some of those. Um, it's just a little piece of wood. It was cut um, from a squirrel saw, you better buy um, Christine. It. So um, You better buy it. That's right. Go away. But they got to buy it. Go away. Ugh. They've got to buy All it. All right, so thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.